Stay with Expresso and SABC3. The new Knorr Stockpot. Real ingredients, real stock. Now, how would you like to win yourself a fabulous Knorr hamper? Well, you've got to keep watching our cooking. And SMS our recipe, a word for today, Knorr, K-N-O-R-R, to send a chance to win a fabulous Knorr hamper that has two La Crozette pots included. And the lady that's going to show us to make something really amazing in the kitchen, not just a pretty face, she's a model, she's a qualified Cordon Bleu chef, and she's a blogger as well that writes about fashion and food. Maurice, uh, great to be cooking with you again. <laughs> to see you. What are we making today? Today. today we're making a traditional Congolese dish and mm -hmm. we call it liboke. Liboke. But here we'll just say baked fish parcels. Baked fish parcels. Yes. What ingredients do we need? Okay, we need to start off with 100 grams of uh, sunflower seeds. Mm -hmm. We need some parsley and a chopped onion and chopped garlic, two fillets, uh, four fillets of yellowtail, 100 grams of mushrooms, a can of tomato and some olive oil. Fabulous, and of course, don't forget our Knorr stock pot. Of course. Really of co amazing. It's got no preservatives, it's MSG free. And the nice thing about the stock pot is you throw it straight into the recipe. You don't dilute it into water. Yes, that Where makes do we it start? a lot easier. We start off with some olive oil. Mm -hmm. we, we heat that up in a pan. Okay, in the meantime, um, can you open the food processor? And then we'll put in the sunflower seeds. All of it in? Yes, the parsley. Okay. and the onions. And the nice thing is sunflower seeds full of omegas, your parsley, you're getting your uh, added vitamins in there. What else do we need? The, the onions, onions and the garlic. There we go. Where did you learn to make this? I learned to make this from my mother. <gasps> Have you got a message for your mom for Mother's Day? Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. um, happy Mother's Day, Mommy. I love you very, very much. Oh, <laughs> very nice. What um, else do we add? So now put that back on mm -hmm. and we're just going to blitz it. You go until the sunflower seeds start to look like bread crumbs, and everything is incorporated in the mixture. Okay, just wait in case anyone didn't hear that. Sorry. You go until <laughs> the sunflower seeds look like bread crumbs. So that's pretty good. Okay. okay. That's a good fine mixture. I'm doing it quick so that you don't hear the brrrr while we're trying to cook okay. and talk. So now we take that out and we put it in our hot uh, in our oil that we've heated before, and we're just gonna let that sauté for a few for a minute or two. Mm -hmm. Make sure to get everything in there. Just scrape it all out. This looks amazing. I'm sure you'd love to make this for Mom for Mother's Day. Keyword yeah. today, Knorr, K-N-O-R-R. You can win the Knorr hamper that's up for grabs. That's the bonus. Just by SMSing for the ingredients list, you'll get the ingredients list sent to your mobile phone, as well as a chance to win that fabulous Knorr hamper that includes the Knorr stock pot, as well as uh, two La Crozette pots. Okay, so we just make sure to mix that in mm -hmm. nicely. And now we'll add the tomato. There we go. Thank you. The mushroom. Thank you. And our secret weapon. <gasps> the... da, da, da. <laughs> Let me open it for you. The stock pot, the Knorr vegetable stock pot. And this has good seasoning for the flavor, so we don't have to add salt, because yes. it's already all in here. It's got everything in there. Yeah. And as I said earlier, you don't need to even dissolve it in water. You just pour just it right it in. in. There we go. Look at that. So we mix that in, uh -huh. making sure just to, it dilutes by itself. It That's a nice thing as well. In the nicely. heat, it just dilutes and gets into your vegetables. It adds flavor into everything. So you just want to make sure to mix this in really well. Um, let me just turn up the heat. And of course, we've got our family of the week that we're going to be featuring in a couple of minutes. So we need to do a bit of a rush job so we can get, get it through sure. to them to try. So um, we'll, you'll leave this on the heat to mm -hmm. simmer for about five minutes. Mm -hmm. Lucky for us. Yay, there we go. We have it already here. Fantastic. Okay. So now you need um, sheets of foil. Mm -hmm. And you take your fish fillet. Mm -hmm and you place it in the center of the foil. There we go. Thank you. Okay, so once you've wrapped it into the foil, then can you add. Can I have the mushroom and sunflower seed there mixture? There we go. And a spoon, please. There we go. Thank you. You scoop some of this mixture on top of the fish. Mm -hmm. Just 
like that. This looks amazing. Let me gonna give you a stir, yeah? Thank you. And then you wrap it up into little packages to look like um, envelopes. In the Congo, we actually use banana leaves for this. Um, <laughs> we wrap it in banana leaves and a little home. bit of string and then yeah. we bake it in the oven. You can also um, put that on the braai? Yes, you can. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it'll give it a nice smoky flavor as mm -hmm. well. Okay, and what does the finished product look like? Um, well, we take these envelopes mm -hmm. and we place them on a baking tray, put them in the oven mm -hmm. at 180 degrees for about 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have the finished product there in the oven. I'm gonna oh, put it down great. here. We're gonna, I'm gonna open them for you quickly. Thank you. This is what it looks like. Ooh. You'll serve it with rice. With what rice. else can you serve it with? You can serve it with sweet potatoes. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. In, uh, in the Congo, we also like to serve it with uh, plantain uh, bananas, yes. which are bananas that you have to cook through. So well, this is our fish. Like We're going to look at it in a, a little bit. But let's go over to Leanne to catch up with our family of the week. Great cooking with you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Stay with Espresso and SABC3.